Yo Navatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video Infamous here. We're going to be looking at the announcement Harley Davidson has just released not too long ago. I'm pretty excited. This is the reason why I went to the Pan America event. I wanted to see what this Revolution Max has to offer, especially after just finishing my demo days with uh, Indian. Very impressive, 116. It's a beautiful bike, all of them. The, the Chief, the Chief 10, the Challenger, they're all great amazing motorcycles and i think harley davidson is probably responding to that since they did add a sport mode and a rain mode and a standard mode on their pan america on their brand new revolution max engine which has a lot of beautiful tech it's powerful straight from the factory 150 horsepower and man you know what i'm excited like i said harley davidson i really believe they're doing the right thing a lot of people in the facebook group a lot of people a lot of long time uh, Harley fans and, and Harley's consumer, their their whole fan base, they've been not too happy with the direction that Harley Davidson has taken. I've been upset about the live wire and I haven't really gone into full detail with that bike, but uh, yeah, the electric <laughs> bike for Harley Davidson, I believe they've only sold somewhere in the 10 or 20 thousand i think you know what or probably i'm you know what I, I don't know the full numbers right now i do know that uh, that the live wire sold miserably uh last year and now they're trying to you know clean their hands from from that awful <laughs> awful uh motorcycle i mean a live wire the dealerships had to ch put in charging stations and, and, and their dealers uh there's just so much stuff that uh, i think a lot of people don't realize that goes into manufacturing the the research and development the training of mechanics the training of staff a few moments later uh there's just a lot of stuff that goes in with the live wire that i believe harley davidson made a big mistake getting into and with this like i mentioned in my other videos i'm happy to see that harley davidson is adapting and probably trying to draw in that new crowd those, those new consumers and with the uh this new liquid cooled revolution max engine it felt great it's a little noisy uh depending on on the mode that it's in i do remember the sport mode being a little noisy the, the valves you could really hear the engine but uh we're, we're gonna see if they could alter the ecu uh the valves and other components that there are uh based off of the the ecu i guess from what matt laidlaw was saying uh there there is uh different modes and there is a there is a possibility of getting that engine to perform differently so maybe with this 1250 custom which is what I'm guessing it is because if you look at the images and if you look at the bike and if you look at the tank badging everything about the the reveal on July 13 over here it looks like they're hinting at the uh at the uh, 1250 custom some people were talking about in the comments hey it's the v-rod some people were saying it's it's going to be the sportster but it, I mean if you look at the uh the image in the video we look over here and we can see those lines are matched up right here so if we look over here, tank badging, go back over here. See, that's the same one. The the engine, that's the same engine. That's the uh, that's the liquid cooled uh, Revolution Max, and it's a 1250 because uh, you, you could actually see the 1250 in the video. The exhaust, the exhaust looks a little bit different. It looks like uh, like it's like they probably changed it. I'm not sure if this is an old an old uh, image. But see right here, this this is the same one. So it might be a different model. Maybe it's uh, like an S, or maybe it's uh, maybe it's a uh, it's it's um, it's a 48 or or something else. It could be it could be that. Maybe this one and the white one are two different uh, models. So this one, the exhaust, as you can see, and then on this one, like I said, it looks like the black one right here. So this looks like the one that's on the. Uh, on this image or, or on this video same seat same fender same exhaust so this is pretty much the, the announcement what i'm guessing so this is the announcement that i'm guessing it's going to be uh it's going to be about the release date so we might be seeing this bike maybe within two months so when they did this with the pan america they released it in may uh what when was it maybe somewhere in march if i can't remember right i, I don't know uh but I'm guessing they might be releasing this within two months or who knows, maybe it's already at dealerships. 
so anyways i was looking through the comments somebody i i saw somebody mention i don't know if it's uh, if it's true or i don't know uh if this person was was actually he actually works for the for the dealership or for the manufacturer somebody just mentioned that uh, it's related with the 1250 custom but it's not actually the same name so who knows i mean there's a, we could be here for for hours just trying to think what this is but yes i'm excited uh, like i said i did or i have test road the pan america i did enjoy it but i wasn't a, a huge fan of the overall posture of the bike uh this one it looks a little bit more aggressive you got the drag bars you got the forward controls so it just depends i guess they might be offering a few different uh, uh, uh models or a different um uh, uh bikes based off of this new frame so I, that's that's what i was just saying about this this whole new frame the revolution max so you could turn it into anything so basically harley davidson can go anywhere with this new frame and that's what i was just kind of saying you know what this is a, a great way to kind of maximize your profits uh not only just limit yourself to one one model lineup kind of like the live wire you can't put that drivetrain in anything else you can't put that battery in anything else you can't use that frame for anything else that's just specifically a live wire so you limit your profits with one 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 product and then on top of that you, you're using so many resources to build that product so there's just a lot of work that goes into into that and having something like the the soft tail lineup where you have uh, five different models touring you have you know three four different models uh, you just maximize your your, your your profits and with this with this new uh, engine with this new frame <laughs> you guys can see it you're, you guys can see it for yourself other people were mentioning uh, some other some other models some other uh, track style of bikes Harley Davidson can do any of that with this new frame and that's what I'm what I I believe this is what Harley needs to Get more people into the product or get more people into the you know into the family with uh with harley davidson look at uh look at uh indians ftr that's not a cruiser but it's a beautiful bike so maybe this might compete against that maybe the bronx was supposed to compete against that maybe this is a uh, harley davidson's answer maybe this is harley davidson's answer to the uh, scout bobber this uh this new 1250 custom and if that's the case this 1250 is going to be a beast and it's going to handle amazing it's going to be a super light bike uh, i believe this new frame is is a lot lighter than the soft tail so imagine that power plant 150 horsepower and over 100 foot pounds of torque on a on a on a compact frame like this it's going to feel ridiculous um you know i'm i'm excited <laughs> really <laughs> so you guys go ahead and just leave your comments down below let me let me know what you guys think are you guys excited for this news or you guys think that harley davidson should, should just stick to what they know don't believe everything you read life's a risk get out there and ride later <laughs>